All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rhea and Fran. This is game number 75, and we are joined 75. by the lovely Rachel and Emily. Uh, Rachel is getting married this weekend, so this was Emily's wedding gift to her. I'm sure there are other wedding gifts involved, <laughs> but this this was the big one. So welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're excited. We are excited, too. This is our first game of trivia in the new studio, so we'll see. You're sitting a little farther away from me now. Yeah. Hopefully we... Our brains are maybe not as connected. I, exactly. That's what I'm a little afraid of. <laughs> um, okay. We are playing 15 rounds of trivia. 15 questions. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. If you get a question wrong, the other team can steal the points. And to determine who goes first, Noah's going to give us a movie. We are going to individually guess the... Rotten Tomatoes critic score. Whoever is the closest will their team will get to go first, and everyone gets one individual guess, and we'll alternate guesses. So Noah, what is today's movie? Before that, I oh. want to get out in front of it. I think I was looking in the wrong camera when I introduced the game. And no, you right. looked in that camera. But I think I'm supposed to look in that one. Sarah's <laughs> nodding her head. Yes. Oh well, you know uh, that's okay. <laughs> Getting used to it in here. You win some, you lose some. Uh, just want to get out <laughs> ahead of that. If you were watching on YouTube, I was looking in the wrong camera. Um, <laughs> all right, Noah, what's the movie? Today's movie. Shout out Darcy from Tamaqua, Pennsylvania. Five hundred days of summer. Ooh, great movie. Okay, so one of you ladies first guess. I'm gonna go seventy three. 42. I'm going to go 38. Interesting. Why do I feel like I thought it would have been high? I like the movie. I feel like it's one of those artsy rom-coms that the critics would like because it like doesn't have a happy ending. <laughs> you just spoiled it. Yeah, sorry. Well, it's, it depends on how you look at it. Happy yeah, I, that's exactly why critics would like it. I'm going to go 78. You're the closest. It's 85. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I had a feeling Good it was going to be high. Good start. Always, I feel like I remember looking at lists of like high rom-coms scores, and that's always on there, and I'm like, makes sense. Okay. Okay. Question number one to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Jordan from Evanston, Illinois. In The Devil Wears Prada... What college did Anne Hathaway's character go to? A, NYU, B, Syracuse, C, Northwestern, D, Boston University. Now, NYU would be the obvious answer, which I feel like means it's not that. Like, I don't think she went to school in New York before she came. I want to say Northwestern. 15 seconds. I've only seen this movie once or twice, so I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Northwestern, final answer. Correct. Yes. Nice. Northwestern yeah. or Syracuse would be the, the best. For journalism. Journalism schools, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. One nothing, Rian Fran. Question number two to Emily and Rachel. Noah went to Syracuse, by the way, yeah. if anybody didn't know that who's listening. <laughs> Hence the comment. <laughs> Uh, shout out Ashley and Alexis from Orange County, California. Which actor did not play one of Jess's love interests in New Girl? A. Adam Brody. B. Justin Long. C. Dylan O'Brien. D. Joseph Gordon Levitt. I'm pretty sure it's Dylan O'Brien, right? Did you watch all of New Girl? Yeah. It's definitely. Um, I know Justin Long. Yeah. Um. I don't know Adam Brody. It's blinking. If you if you think you know, you know that. Yeah, I think it was that. Dylan O'Brien. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember him being in that show at all. Final answer. Yep. Incorrect. Oh. I mm, I think it's Adam Brody. Justin Long definitely. Joseph Gordon Levitt. I feels more likely than Adam Brody. You think so? I feel like... Yeah, I just... I feel like I remember him on the show and I don't remember Adam Brody. Ten seconds. All right, that's what you think. Okay. Adam Brody, final answer. Incorrect. Oh, it is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Darn. All right. I found a summer repeat. I know. 
Why do I feel like I remember him on the show? Maybe he had a different role. Okay, question number three to Rian Fran. Still one nothing. Shout out Clarissa uh, from St. Louis, Missouri. Why'd you say it with such tood? Wait, tood? Yeah, you went Clarissa. Because I was like, I'm like, is that her name or is it supposed to be something else? Okay, (laughs) because it's... Clarissa. It's not even, yeah, it's like has the red underline under it. Is that a name? (laughs) Clarissa is definitely a name. Okay, sorry, Clarissa. (laughs) Certainly a name, yes. Okay. Uh, Clarissa. <laughs> what was the movie called that James Marsden was auditioning for in Jury Duty? P- pine. Pine. P- pike. Something with pine in it. Woods. Pine barrel? What, like some kind of like behind the pines, but like not, you know, obviously because there's what that movie with Ryan Gosling. Pine barrel? Pine barrel? <laughs> pine barrels? That's Five definitely seconds. not it. Okay. Pine. Time is up. Pine. Pine barrel. Barrel. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> to Emily and Rachel. Did you watch it? I haven't finished Jury Duty yet also. Um, I, I didn't watch it. I don't know. Uh, Let's just make something up. Pine. Pinehurst. <laughs> Pinehurst. Um... Smelling the pine. Smelling <laughs> in the trees. Five huh? seconds. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Smelling the pine. <laughs> yeah, sure. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, you had pine. Lone pine. Uh, lone pine. Lone pine. Oh, low and pine. No, no. Lone pine. Lone pine. Lone pine. Like lone, like loner. Lone pine. Oh, L O N E. Yeah. Lone pine. Is it Pam or Pam? Pam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I knew it was something with pine. Pine barrel. Kind of <laughs> hit. <laughs> Question number five to Emily and Rachel. Shout out uh, Molly. Just Molly. What was the name of Clay's agency in One Tree Hill? Oh. Wait, also, is this not question four? Sorry. Like, yes, it's question four. Okay, sorry. Thank you. He was a talent manager. Wasn't is he? something his agency for Nathan? Um, oh gosh. Is it two words? Five um, seconds. Endur- I don't know. It's like some word like. Throw something out there. Endurance? I don't know. Time's up. Yeah, we'll go with that. Endurance. Incorrect. Sorry, repeat it. What was the name of Clay's agency in One Tree Hill? Clay was my favorite guy on One Tree Hill. (laughs) I know that doesn't one. It was like a one word, like... useless today. Why is like Excelsior coming into my head? 10 seconds. Sure. <laughs> Excel- Excelsior. Excelsior. That's definitely not That's it. That's not it. Final answer. Incorrect. It's fortitude. 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 Ah, see, I knew That's it. Close I, to endurance. I That's knew close it was to like, You guys were, everyone was on the on the right yeah, track there. Fortitude. Yeah, it was one it. of those fortitude. It was like one yeah. of those empowering words, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, question number five to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Francesca from San Francisco. Oh, Franny from San Fran? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Did you know that people don't like when you call it San Fran? I didn't yes, know that. the people of that. San Fran do not like. Why? I, I don't know. Okay. Question number five. Name that year. Harlem Shake Dance goes viral. Jennifer Lawrence falls on her way to the stage at the Oscars. Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke is released. I think this is 2012. 2012. I'm going to say 2012. I'm trying to think if this was my senior year of high school. Blurred lines. I'm, I think 2012. 2012? Okay. 15. We're going to go 2012. Incorrect. Uh, Family and Rachel. Okay. I remember we did Harlem Shake with my friends when I was in like eighth grade. That's around like 2014, 2015. No, because I graduated high school in 2015. Oh, shit. No. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. 15 seconds. 2011? 
Shake Was Harlem Shake middle school? Mm hmm. Five line? seconds. Yeah, let's go 2011. Okay, 2011. Incorrect. So 2013. 2013. 2013. All right. Still one nothing. Rian Fran. Question number six. Shout out Malane from San Diego. What color are the bouncing balls during the Lizzie McGuire theme song? Oh my gosh. Okay. How many? Is there multiple colors? One color. I think red. No. At all. It's either red or blue. You know, they would be pink or something. No. No. Actually, I think... Five seconds. I, I think blue. I think blue. I'm gonna go with blue. Incorrect. Red? red? My gut instinct said red. Yeah, let's go with red. Okay, red, final answer. Correct. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough because they change like when you guys started naming different colors, the balls started changing colors in my head. Mm -hmm. Like I was yeah. like, were they blue? <laughs> okay, two nothing re and Fran. And this question is to them. Shout out Nori from Scranton. The name of the soccer team Ted Lasso coaches is AFC Richmond. What is the team's mascot? Hmm. It's a dog. Fifteen seconds. Horse. Some sort of four-legged animal. I want to. I want to say dog. Three I'm hoping seconds. that's specific enough. Bear cat. Time is up. Dog. Final answer. Incorrect. Oh, Emily and Rachel. You know Rachel. Have you watched it? Yeah, I have, and I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm thinking soccer team. I think like lion or no, it's not lion. Wolf. Do they have a logo? You've watched it. Ten seconds. A logo. Um, Just go with your best guess. Five. Okay. Um. Time is up. Wolf. Well, Greyhounds. Wow. Technically a dog. Well. <laughs> I just wasn't specific enough, yeah. but technically a dog. Well, it's not like, there's the dog. Yeah, right? yeah, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Okay. I was in the right, <laughs> I was in the right species. Okay. Still to nothing, Rhea and Fran, and this is to Emily and Rachel. Question number eight. Shout out Fatima from Northern Virginia. In the parent trap, what does Liz throw at Nick the day she is packing and leaves before seeing him again 11 years later? Her hairbrush. I'm going to lock that in. Incorrect. Blow dryer. Mm. Blow dryer. Correct. Yep. Ooh. Dang it. Yes. Close. She threw this at my head. Better than... I, I'm interested why they wrote Liz, because she's either called Elizabeth or Lizzie. Never, never really he, Liz. He calls her yeah, Lizzie. Yeah. Yeah. And her name is Elizabeth James. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number nine. Shout out Victoria from St. Louis, Missouri. In the show Friends, what is Rachel's father's go-to drink? That's a hard question. This is not our question, right? What? Oh, this is this our question. This is our question. Oh, shoot. Rachel's father? father. He's in like one episode. Which is <laughs> Bruce Willis, right? No. Oh, no? Bruce Willis is... Um, or do they date? Yeah. She dates Bruce Willis. He plays her dad? Uh, I, I literally just watched the episode where he had a heart attack the other day. I can't um, even picture him. Three seconds. I'm just going to say... Uh, Fucking s scotch? I don't know. Yeah, scotch. Uh, a s scotch. Correct. Let me give that to you. <laughs> it's scotch and neat. That, yeah, uh, yeah. But it's scotch, scotch neat is yeah. just scotch. Yeah. What a uh, uh, scotch you know what? straight I'm, up. I'm not going to judge the question, but out of all the friends' questions, <laughs> we can actually. Does, uh, does anybody know who plays Rachel's father? Um, Why can't I picture him? I don't know, but I watched a clip online where 
he wasn't even in the scene, but someone was like, oh, that's... that's when she dates Bruce Willis, is, does Bruce Willis have a kid? It's the... He's... I think Bruce Willis is the father of the college girl that Ross is dating. No? Yes. Yes. When he's the professor dating the student. Yeah. And that's her dad. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I think. I'm not 100% No, I think sure you're that. definitely right on um, that. Rachel's dad is uh, Ron Liebman. Well, don't know who that <laughs> there is. There are so many actors and friends that you probably just thought one of them was. Yeah, like, I just. Or I, or I thought it was like a big name. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thor, nothing, Rain, Fran. This question is to Emily and Rachel. I'm going to play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. So how do you all know each other? Well, well really, it's, we it's a long back. story. It's, oh, we, let me tell it. it. It's really a, a funny story. See, Keith was my fiance, and Wendy was his high school girlfriend. And on the night of our rehearsal dinner, I found them making out. I do not recognize that voice, but I, the female voice, but I can't pin it. Um, 15 seconds. Sounds like it's a movie from like the 90s or early 2000s or something. Is it? I don't think it's one I've ever seen before. Five. The, na the one that plays a nanny? All right, time is up. I don't have an answer. Okay. Re-answer. Right? Yeah, the wedding planner. The wedding planner, final answer. Correct. All right. Five nothing. Re and Fran. And this question's to them. Shout out Mora from Chicago. On Gilmore Girls, what reason does Rory give when Jess asks her why she came to New York to see him? You know. I wish I was better at Gilmore Girls trivia for the amount of times I've watched Gilmore Girls. Maybe start to finish five, six times. Really? I've and never I, even seen I can't it once. remember a single thing. I mean, I haven't done it in a long time, but. 10 seconds. She was. I've, I don't even have a guess. Three. Don't even have a guess. Want to make I, something up? I don't time know. I've never seen Gilmore okay. Girls. Okay, now Emily and Rachel. I'm pretty sure she says she's just in the area. Like, yeah. Oh, well, just in the area. Something like that. I don't think there was an actual link. Sure. It wasn't for like a book or Was she visiting her friend? What's her name? She went and saw him one time at the book fair. Ten when seconds. He the book, but that wasn't when she went and visited New York. That's when okay. she went to her. She Five. took the bus. Let's, yeah, just say just the area. The area. Incorrect. She said, because you didn't say goodbye. Oh, uh, yep. That she's is on, that's, on the bus. That is exactly what she says, yeah. All right. Still 5 nothing. A little sick over here. <laughs> I'm struggling today. Okay. Question number 12 to Emily and Rachel. Shout out Louise from Madison, Wisconsin. In Cheaper by the Dozen, how many of the 12 Baker kids are boys and how many are girls? Okay. Um, one Liz McGuire, girl. Um, Allison, that's her actor name, that's two. The older sister. Older sister, three. Let's just name that's all the girls. That's it. I think that's it. What other females? 10 are? seconds. Yeah, the girl that plays the two girl. twins are boys. Yeah, I think it's just three. Girls five and seconds. Nine boys. Yeah. Three girls, nine boys, final answer. Incorrect. I think it's five. It's five girls and seven boys. Because it's Nora, um, Hillary Duff, the two twins, and then the, the tomboy. And then there's seven boys. I'm pretty sure. 15 it's twin girls? There's twin oh, girls. Oh, yes. Yes. And then the, the tomboy. Yes. So five girls, seven boys. Yeah. Violent. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Oh, wow. The twin girls. They're red. They they're redheads. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just picturing one of them in my head. I forgot. One's there was, a redhead. I forgot there was two of them. A oh, one's a redhead. Yeah. All mm. right. Six nothing. Re and Fran. This is question number thirteen. To them, shout out Victoria from Winnipeg, Canada. 
Name two musicians Taylor Swift opened up for prior to her Fearless tour to promote her first album. That she opened up for? That she opened up for. I would just pick like country music people. Like fucking Kenny Chesney. <laughs> what about like Carrie Underwood? Yeah, maybe. 15 seconds. Rascal Flats? Rascal Flats. Let's go Rascal Flats and and Blake Shelton. Final answer. Incorrect. <laughs> Family and Rachel. I don't know. You're the one that likes him. Yeah, I think I remember the Jonas Brothers concert we went to in like 2008. She opened. Um, and then I would say Tim McGraw, but I think she did Jason Aldean too. You know, but for Tim McGraw, just Ten seconds. Song. I'm pretty sure she did Tim McGraw. I'm gonna go Tim, Tim McGraw and then yeah, Tim McGraw and Jonas Brothers. Incorrect. Uh, I have Rascal Flats, George Strait, Damn. Brad Paisley, Tim Damn. McGraw, Faith Hill, Keith Urban. You no, know, I was going through one all, of those names. One of those names, you know, just what should have just thrown out. Could have been anything. Could have thrown out uh, one of, any one of them <laughs> with Rascal Flats. Okay, question number fourteen to Emily and Rachel. Shout out Layla from St. Louis. In Superbad, Jonah Hill's character had an obsession with what as a child? Uh, Emily and Rachel. You would draw penises everywhere, all the time. I'm gonna lock that in. <laughs> Correct. Yep. <laughs> Drawing dicks, I have. Yes. <laughs> they were so detailed. <laughs> Okay, six one final question to Ryan Fran. Shout out Renee from Amarillo, Texas. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I'm, your guess is as good as mine on that. Okay, what does the restaurant Sir's acronym stand for? Sir's an acronym. <laughs> Serving upscale. Upscale. Swanky upscale restaurant. restaurant. Swank sexy upscale restaurant. Five seconds. Swanky, sexy. Lisa would name something sexy. Would she? Maybe. All right. Swank. Sexy, no se sexy upscale oh. restaurant. Incorrect. I just thought it was because "sir" is French. Like, I didn't know it was an acronym. I had but... absolutely no idea it was an acronym. <laughs> um, service, service under. Oh. Oh. Ten seconds. Service under. Time is up. I don't know. The service. correct answer right. is sexy, unique restaurant. Oh, Damn. oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> sexy, unique. Dang it. All right. So close. <laughs> Damn. Final score is 6 1, Rian Fran. You get the W. Ladies, thank you so much yes, for playing. Thank you. I hope that you have an amazing wedding mm -hmm. this weekend. Congratulations again. Beautiful weather. Nothing that goes wrong. All of those, all of those things. Thank you so much. Yeah. And you'll yeah. go down in history as the first guest in this studio. Yes. Oh yes, no. first studio guest. First Sorry. time in the new studio. Yes. Thank you guys yeah. so much. And hopefully we see you in Charlotte soon. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, Thanks, guys. If you guys yeah. get a chance, can you just uh, send Noah your address and sizes, and we'll send you some merch. Yep. Thanks, oh. guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.